Hi guys, welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make a really quick and easy hibachi fried rice using a limited amount of ingredients. Now there's two key components to making hibachi fried rice. The first one being the rice. You should be using either leftover rice that you have or pre-cooking your rice and then just putting it in the refrigerator for at least two to three hours to cool it down. And the reason being is if you use freshly cooked rice that's still really hot, it tends to get like mushy and will just break up and fall apart and also have a tendency to stick to your fry pan or your wok. So you're gonna wanna use um, pre-made rice. The other key component is the garlic soy sauce butter. And it is the combination really of the butter and the soy sauce that come together in the pan and it kind of browns and gets a little bit smoky and it gives that flavor to the rice as well as the garlic. So, let me show you how to make the butter. So here we have one stick of softened butter, half a lemon, two cloves of garlic, and some soy sauce. I'm gonna start by taking the two cloves of garlic and just putting them in a mini food processor. You can chop them by hand if you want, if you don't have a food processor, and uh, just mix everything in a bowl. Now I'm gonna add the softened butter. I'm just gonna cut it up so it just helps the uh, food processor a little bit. And then we're gonna pulse that again a few times just to bring the garlic and the butter together. And now we'll add the juice of half a lemon. And two tablespoons of soy sauce. I'm just gonna switch the food processor over to puree to help incorporate the garlic and soy sauce into the butter better. And there you have it. Here I have some parchment paper and saran wrap and I've laid the butter out on the parchment paper and I'm just gonna kind of grab it and bring it together like um, a roll or a log and then I'll wrap it with the saran wrap and stick it back in the refrigerator just for a few minutes till it becomes a little bit more firm and easy to work with. Okay, so now that I've showed you how to make the garlic soy sauce butter, which I have right here, and um, honestly, this I made like last week when I was doing hibachi fried rice. The one that I made today, I put that in the fridge to um, solidify. I make the whole stick because uh, aside from using it in the hibachi fried rice, I don't mind having a whole bunch of leftover garlic soy sauce butter because I'll throw it in vegetables if I steam vegetables. I'll rub it on chicken if I'm gonna broil it in the oven. So it has a multitude of uses, so that's why I do the whole stick. If you're only gonna make the hibachi fried rice once and you're not really gonna use the butter and anything else, you can certainly cut it in half and instead of using a whole stick of butter, use a half a stick of butter, use one clove of garlic, only use one tablespoon of soy sauce, so on and so forth. Um, now let me go over some of the other ingredients we'll be using a half a cup of chopped carrot, a half a cup of chopped onion. The recipe calls for one egg, but I'm gonna use two because I like a lot of egg in my fried rice. And it calls for two cups of pre-cooked rice, which I have more than that here. I'll probably end up using it all, it's fine. I'm also gonna add um, two pre-cooked chicken tenders that I had left over in the fridge that was just seasoned with some salt and pepper. So I'm gonna add that to my rice and make it uh, chicken hibachi fried rice. You can certainly add whatever protein that you want. Beef, pork, chicken, shrimp, or loaded up with vegetables. It all works with this basic recipe. 
One note though, if you are gonna add your protein, you need to pre-cook it before adding it to the rice. And you're gonna add it in towards the end just to bring it all together. We're also going to then um, put some toasted sesame seeds on top when we're finished cooking. It just adds a nice toasty flavor and a little bit of a crunch. And some additional soy sauce while we're cooking the rice. So, enough talking. Let's get cooking. So here I have my wok and I've turned on the heat to medium high. And I'm adding two teaspoons of vegetable oil. Once the wok comes up to temperature, we can add our onions and our chopped carrot. And we're just gonna saute this for a few minutes until the onion is uh, translucent and you soften the carrot just a little bit. I'm also going to add about a tablespoon of the garlic soy sauce butter. And now season it with a little salt. And I like to use white pepper. It just has more flavor, but less heat. Now I'm gonna add the already cooked chicken to the sauteed carrot and onion with another tablespoon of the garlic soy sauce butter and just bring it all together just to incorporate some of the flavor into the cooked chicken. And now I'm gonna add the rice. Quick tip also if you want just put it in the microwave for about a minute. You don't want it ice cold or it won't break up in the pan. Now I've added soy sauce to taste, probably two to three tablespoons. And another tablespoon of the garlic soy sauce butter. And now just break up your rice and stir the soy sauce and the carrot and the onion and everything into the rice. So the rice has been cooking for about four minutes or so and it's got a nice little crispy crust going. I'm just gonna put it off to the side for a minute because I'm going to put our egg into the wok and cook it separately just so it comes together a little bit and then incorporate the rice and the egg together again. So you just wanna cook the egg till it's not so runny. If I put the rice in now, it would coat all of the rice and you wouldn't have a lot of pieces of egg running throughout the fried rice. So now just chop it all up and mix it through the rice. Now I'm just going to add some sesame seeds in with the rice and stir it up and then let's get ready to serve it. Okay, so here it is guys, our hibachi fried rice, hibachi chicken fried rice. And I'm just gonna add just a little bit more sesame seeds on top and a little bit of uh, green scallion for a garnish. And now, let's taste it. Cause I know it's good. garlic, the butter, the soy sauce, the egg. I love hibachi fried rice. It's just simple. It's not complicated at all, yet very delicious. 
Well, I hope you guys try this recipe and really enjoy it. Until next time, guys. Bye. This is so good. How can you not like rice? Oh my gosh. Mm. Huh. I'm also drinking sake. This is what I do when I record. Off camera. Uh, sometimes on camera, but mostly off camera. Yeah. Yeah. That's good stuff.